Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Croak, and today we're going to be going over the Salvage Yard Guide to the Dink Jester Classic, making a easy 332k in less than 30 minutes. So if you're new here, smash the subscribe button, like the video, and subscribe. Let's get it. Heading over to the computer right over here, and you go over to the Dink Jester Classic, and it's worth 332k. All you're going to do is confirm it, and we're going to wait for the dialogue to get through, and then we're going to do Tony's Submersible. Make sure you have the MK2 food, body armor, and your best weapons when doing any of these missions. So all I have to do right now is click X to start Tony's Submersible. And right now we're gonna go on the MK2 and wait for the dialogue. So we're gonna go to Terminal. I'll meet you guys over there. So over the Terminal, we're gonna have to take out the security team. So with MK2, all you have to do is fly around a decent length away and simply just take out any of the NPCs that are right there. So you can go on the submersible and take that. So just take out the rest of the security team and then there's going to be a prompt after you do that. Once you take out the security team, we're gonna access the release switch that is up here. So you simply just have to go up the ladder and I'll meet you guys up there. So right up here, these stairs, you're gonna just simply click this button. It's going to release the little submarine there. So we just have to go in it now. So I'll meet you guys down there. All right, you can dive from the top and go in just like that. And we wanna get into the submersible right over here. Now we're gonna wait for some directions on where to take it. So you see on the map, this yellow portal right over here, you're just gonna go right to this yellow portal. So I'll meet you guys over there. So when you get to the yellow portal right over here, all you have to do is just drive this to the yellow portal and simply just go right here. It's gonna be a little cutscene, and now that is the end of the mission. Going to the next mission right over here, it's gonna be Sonar Equipment. So now we're gonna go on our MK2 and go to El Biro Heights. I'll meet you guys over there. Once you're over there, you're gonna have to break into the warehouse, so simply take out the NPCs that you see right over here and go to that yellow portal. Once you go to this yellow portal, you'll break into the warehouse. Now we're gonna have to locate and break open the crates so we want to get our assault shoddy where it's close range make sure you have body armor ready to go and food because you're gonna be taking some damage here so we're gonna locate and break open the crates here so we want to break it open but also you want to take out the npcs so you do not die there's one right there that might take me out there so hopefully you get what we need in here if not then just take out the npcs and body armor it up there's another crate over here we're gonna locate and break open the crates all right, so we found, so we have to keep going and try to find some more crate. I thought that was the one that we were looking for, but open this one right over here and we'll see what's inside. So still nothing here. So hopefully you'll have it in the same location when you are doing this mission for your Dinker Jester Classic here. So now we're gonna steal the sonar equipment right here. So we're gonna click that right arrow and exit the warehouse. All right, now we're just gonna go on our MK2. Simply just make your way out of the warehouse. Take out some NPCs if you do need to. And you just wanna head out and that's basically the end of the mission. Starting the robbery missions, all you have to do is go to the green bag right there. And that's where we are on the map. So that's one of them. And we're gonna be stealing a cutting torch. So click that right arrow and start it up. So now we just have to go to the yellow circle in the question mark and find the cutting torch. So I'm gonna fast forward until I find it. All right, so I found it right over here on the bag. So you just have to click that right arrow and deliver it to the salvage yard. So that is your first robbery task done. Heading to our second robbery task, it's right over here. You're simply just gonna go to that green little portal and we're gonna be stealing security outfits. So click that right arrow and start it up. So we're gonna search the pier for security outfits that are down over here. All right, so the security outfits are right by the boat in this bag right here. So we just have to get on our MK2 and go back to the salvage yard. Heading back to the computer, we can finally start the robbery. So we're gonna go right there and we're gonna go in and make sure you have body armor, food, weapons, and your MK2 ready to go. So our target is a Dinka, Dinka Jester Classic. So we're gonna follow the prompt. So we're gonna go to Polito Cove, so we'll meet you guys over there. All right, so we're at the portal right here, so we're gonna enter the submarine right over here. So we're gonna go down all the way and enter the submarine. So we're gonna take the submarine out to sea. So I'll meet you guys over when we get to the yellow portal, which is the submarine. So we're at the submarine over here. All you have to do is drive underneath to essentially go into it and click that right arrow when prompted. So now you're going to be inside. We're gonna have to take out some NPCs and we're gonna go to the engine room. 
So make sure you take out the NPCs, have your assault shoddy, and we're gonna go down these stairs right over here and make sure you reload, have body armor, food, ready to go. So we're gonna open this door right over here. And once we get inside, we're gonna have to disable the navigation system. So you're gonna take out NPCs along with the computer right over here. So we're gonna do this and take out the computer right here along with the other ones that are over here, especially this one and this NPC well, along with the computer to the left of the NPC. All right, so we disabled all of the sonar systems. So now we're gonna go all the way to the other side right over here and cut open the door. So now we're gonna locate Tony's head of security. So we're gonna go all the way through to the opposite side right over here. As you see, there's NPCs waiting for you. We're gonna go to this door right over here and we're gonna cut it open. Once inside, take out the NPCs and go up the stairs right over here and keep on going. The more NPCs you come across, the closer you're getting to the head of security. So we're gonna take out NPCs in the control room right over here along with everyone else. There's gonna be some more NPCs right over here and take those guys out too. We're gonna head downstairs and we're gonna keep on going down the stairs right over here. Take out some more NPCs and we should be getting to the head of security really in this room right over here. And the head of security is right over here. Just wanna take that person out. Once you're over here, search the body right over here that we took out. So click that right arrow. We collected the control codes. So now we're gonna go to the bridge. So we're gonna go down the stairs right over here and go through here. Actually go up these stairs right over here. We're gonna keep going up the stairs and simply go up here. So we're gonna go ahead and head to this control codes room right over here and go insert the codes right over here. Once you do that, we're gonna access the helm, which is located right over here. And we're gonna drive the sub submarine. Once you drive it, you just drive it like a regular car and click R2 and you're just going to drive it to the yellow portal over here. So simply onto the land. That's when things start getting interesting. So now you just have to crash it on to the beach right there. So now we're gonna go to the landing pad that is on the opposite side of the submarine. And we're gonna go down these stairs right over here and keep going down the stairs. So we have to cut open the door when you get up the stairs right over here past the moon pool, which it'll be on the opposite side. And we're gonna cut the doors off right over here. And then the car should be right up there. It's gonna be someone shooting at you too. So we have to activate the landing pad also, which is in this room right over here where this person was shooting. They're just not happy they're getting the car. So we're gonna go right over here, click that right arrow, and then we're gonna enter the Jester Classic right over here and just go inside. So now we just have to click R2 and we're gonna be driving this thing out of here. The cops are gonna be after you. So I'll show you guys the best spot to go to. We're gonna drive this car off. And then we're gonna get to that spot I was telling you guys about to evade the police. So we're just gonna follow this little area right over here all the way up until you reach like a little bridge. And there's going to be an entry point where you can hide underneath. So we're gonna keep on going right over here and go around this bridge. So a great place to hide would be right over here. Right in this tunnel is one of the good spots. Right here would be a great place for you to hide. Or if you just follow the train tracks right by it, there's gonna be a tunnel. You can just go on the train tracks, go through the tunnel, and wait in there. So this is also another great spot to hide, which is right here. You just have to watch out for trains. So once you're in here, you can just park right over here. The location for this is low, right, right over here. All right, now we just we just have to deliver the Jester Classic to the salvage yard, so I'll meet you guys over there. Once you get to the salvage yard, go to the yellow portal, and that's essentially the end of the mission your car will be delivered inside we're going to show you guys how much it's worth and how to sell it so robbery is complete so we didn't get the bonus but hey you could get a bonus if you do the following right here and now we're going to get over to the car and simply show you guys how much you're going to get so 332k always sell it for more on the top here so that is the end of the video please smash that subscribe button like the video and comment down below i'm croak and i'm out